All right, in this video, we're going to uh, go through how to add an item that is not in the network zone. And what you would typically do is go ahead and search the repository um, in the network zone first for the book and see if it's already in the network zone. And you would search your IZ as well to see if it's in your institution zone. But in this case, the book is not in either. What you want to do is open up connection and you can scan in the ISBN number. And um, just look for the, the best record. So this record looks pretty good. Um, there is a list of um, fields that you need to delete, but you have to do that in the MD editor. So what we're going to do is um, click Action Holdings, Produce and Update Holdings. And then you're going to click the Action Export button then click batch, process batch, and select the default bib.bib.db and online record actions and export checkboxes. Then click OK. And we should get a message that gives us the um, MMS number in just a moment. So this usually takes um, a minute or so, and then you'll get a message that says um, what your MMS ID is, and you can copy and paste that. And we're going to open up Alma and paste that into your persistent search box. And pull up the record, and you're going to click on Edit Record. And now that we're in the MD Editor, we can go through and delete the um, the 015, the, we're going to delete the 016. If there's an 029, we'll delete that. 051, 055, 070, 071, 084, 92, 263, 265, 350, 583, 886, or 938. Okay, so here we have some 938s. And we're going to delete that. And we need to add our local notes field, so we're going to click uh, Edit, Add Local Field. Oh, and you need to remember to put it in, um, you need to highlight the, the field right above where you're going to place the note. Okay, so it may be hard, but I'm I'm trying to highlight the 830 field, and then click Edit, Add Local Field. And we're going to use 970 for our local field. Okay, so you're going to enter the information in 970, and then when you're done, click Save. And it's the disk icon. And then click the Add Holding, which is the piece of paper with the green plus sign. And the trick here is to click on the Split Editor button. And then you want to highlight the 852 field and click Edit. Open Form Editor. And you're going to want to select Sublocation as Hightower and Shelving Location as General Collection. And then click your Save disk icon 
and then we're going to click the add item which looks like a blue book with a, a green circle and we're going to enter our inventory price and you're going to enter your receiving date and your item policy is books and this is going to be shelved in the new book section so we're going to select where it says item is in temporary location yes and then select Dorothy Hightower let me move that over and then temporary location is going to be new books Trying to get that there. And we want to select the date that this is going to come off the new, the new book um, temporary location. And we want to select a date that's 30 days out. And after you fill everything out, the last thing you need to do is to scan the barcode. Uh, you should get a message that says it was successfully updated. What you want to do now is you can scan the barcode in the persistent search box. And if it is linked to a network zone, a network zone record, you'll see the icon with the uh, blue headed man. And if you click on that, um, you, the icon will change to a, a, a gray library icon. And it'll say held by my institution. And you'll notice that the network tab is the current tab that we have open. And your record is um, now linked to the network zone record. And at this point, all you need to do next is to um, um, make a note of the call number and open up your Zebra uh, printer and print out the uh, call number label and affix it to the book. And, and at this point, you're done.